I'm a car nut, I guess. It's hard to interview Ronald Daza about what's happening with his cars because his phone is ringing off the hook. It's hard. It's, in some cases, it's difficult. If it's a pile of junk, that's different. Hello. Word has gotten out. Mr. Dozette says Northfield Township has ordered him to get rid of his collection of now about 150 cars, like this Austin Healey Sprite from the 60s. 1600 bucks. Drive it home. Probably get it running. <laughs> no, it would but, need some tires need, first. Some tires. <laughs> yeah, drive it home like this. <laughs> People have heard and are calling, looking for a deal. This self-described car nut says he knows how they feel, searching for a gem. Hard to describe, but it's just a good feeling. Someone you know, else wants a car. Someone else wants a car. While Mr. Dozak calls these cars his passion, the township told him they're an eyesore. A township ordinance bans the storage of unlicensed or inoperative vehicles in residential neighborhoods. He needs to get rid of at least 20 per month until they're gone. Taking me a nervous wreck. I don't sleep. <laughs> get my hair grayer. We reached out to Northfield Township and were told no comment. Mr. Dozat says he doesn't know why the township suddenly decided to crack down, that he stored these cars out of sight of others on his six acres. He is struggling. I would rather be able to sell them to somebody than give them to the scrapyard. That's what, I, that's what hurts is... <sighs> He's hoping someone sees this video, sees the car they love, and will save. I could never run a junkyard. Be saving everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you might be interested in one of his cars, we have contact information for you at our website, wxyz.com. In Northfield Township, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.